Did you see it right there at the top of the seven day forecast? That mm -hmm. countdown to the solar eclipse. We're about 10 weeks away from the long anticipated total solar eclipse of the sun. And as you very well may know, we are in the path of totality in Erie. And everyone's talking about it. We're the watch it and the boost of the tourism that it may bring. But no one is more excited than the scientists. Our Lisa Adams found out, out, out today when a couple of Penn State Baron professors came in to chat for the insider for Lisa, this is a teachable moment. It, it certainly is. First of all, it is rare. We know it won't happen in Erie like this again for 120 years. And why it happens involves complex math and physics. Let me just set this uh, in motion here. We're going to take a quick look behind me at what this path of totality looks like. This is courtesy of the greatamericaneclipse.com. And you can see from all this data, the time of totality over each place it passes, the duration of that, the speed of the moon's shadow, the width of the path, so much science involved. So the scientists are geeking out about it. They want you and your kids to geek out about it too, in hopes that maybe that will inspire some future astronomers, astrophysicists, mathematicians, or even statisticians. The total solar eclipse coming April 8th is rare, and Professor Darren Williams wants everyone to know it. Any one location on the planet hardly ever gets touched by the very narrow, tiny eclipse shadow, and this is, this is just a, a golden opportunity. And whether he explains that golden opportunity old school with a softball and a globe... The Earth carries the moon with it as it moves around the sun, and it's able to block out the entire face of the sun, even though it's one three hundredth the size of the sun. Plus a belt to illustrate the sun's pull on the moon's orbit. It causes it to precess like a top like or like a frisbee as you throw it through the air. But it also causes it to stretch and strain like this, which changes the, the, uh, the conditions, the geometry and the frequency uh, for the shadows touching the earth. And this is why we don't get an eclipse every month or a high-tech animation from greatamericaneclipse.com. He wants you to know to protect your eyes with ISO-approved glasses and take them off when Erie has its moments without the sun. Uh, so during that three minutes and 40 seconds, the glasses come off, and then right when the sun pokes around the edge of the moon, then the glasses have to go back on to safely observe the rest of it. The professor hopes students start asking questions about how it all works. If you start to ask those questions, then, then you immediately get into some uh, complex math and, uh, and physics. And, uh, and that's my background, and, and so I hope it does uh, inspire uh, young uh, children who want to get into science, uh, and, and hopefully they'll move in that direction. So to see the total eclipse in Erie, and this animation is still going, you do need those safe glasses. You need the lake at your back. You need to look up to the southwest. Shouldn't have any big trees in, in the way, but totality is expected here around 3.16 p.m. It will last for 3 minutes and 42 seconds, and you can learn so much more by watching Professor Williams and Professor Mike Rudder this weekend with me on The Insider. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.